Hello and welcome back to Psychic Live here on Living TV. It's time now for the studio audience to get a reading from the one and only Derek Acora. How are you feeling, Derek? I'm feeling fine. Are you poised? Absolutely, yes. Yeah. You're champing at that spiritual bit? Absolutely. Marvellous. Then take the position. Time for the audience to meet the medium. Thanks, Richard. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much uh, for coming this afternoon, this evening. And I hope you still... Ooh, the first uh, inclinations. May I come, please, to... I'm split between the lovely gentleman and the lovely lady in the back row. May I speak to you? OK, thank you. I'm very aware of um, a, there's both a lovely lady's energies and a gentleman's energies very close by here. They've come together. They were linked together in physical life. And, you know, they come in this uh, twosome. I feel the lovely gentleman, please, prior to coming to the world of spirit, leaving the physical, um, had to undergo uh, conditions that would have affected up in the chest area. And I want to say the lady, please, uh, although this was only a byproduct of maybe conditions, it didn't take her over. She would have had most definitely um, not total struggling, but would have had problems uh, with the joints in the connection to. Would you understand this? I think I understand too. Yeah. And I want to say they're both smiling. They've got smiles on. The, it's like as if they can't believe they come into the atmosphere. They're seeing you two here. Yeah. And there's this love and whatever. Can I say to the lovely gentleman, please? Um, they talk here, please, about someone called Dave or David. Right, yes, I know. What link is he to you? Um, he's a friend. Yes, just re they've been listening to conversations. Do you mind me telling you what they've just said? Please carry on. Okay, he just said here, please, that. Um, oh, have you been talking, please, about a place in Wales called Wrexham? Or has that been brought up for some reason? I've been speaking about a number of different places in Wales. Um, I'm not Wrexham specifically yet. OK, well, can, will you... Cos I'm laughing about something that's coming up with Wrexham. Right. It's definitely took me to Wales. I've just come back from Wales. Right. Uh, from Swansea. But can I... Yes, I want... It's going to be very interesting. Who wants to sell... Right, do you want to sell your house? Um, we've just remortgaged. Were you thinking about selling? It's on the cards. Well, they're saying no. Right. No, no, no. <laughs> it's not neat. Then it, it's all right for them to say it. But can I just say, it's like they're trying to give you the encouragement to say no. Stick with it. Stick with it. Yeah. Because the next, oh, it's not predictions. That you, I'm told to give you this, okay? Right. The next two yearly cycle, okay? You're going to look back and say, oh, as each other say, the best thing was ever done. Yes. Okay? Yes. So you can take the guidance or you can use your own. But, you know, I just say to you, Oh, the thoughts, OK. <laughs> right, thank you. Can I also say to you, please, and don't take offence, but they're talking here pretty, uh, about a little boy. Right. Are you, are you wishing boy a child? Um, we've just had a child, and we've been told by a number of people like yourself that we're to have another child who will be a boy. OK. Well, can I just say this to you? I'm a great believer. In fact, I say humbly, I do know, because I've been shown and told many times, that the spirits of our children choose our parents. Yes. We all choose our daddies and mums. Yes. Prior to coming here. OK? He's to bring in that perfection. And a little boy's chosen you as mum and dad. Yes. OK? So, well, great. It's lovely. How's she? Oh, it's not a health condition, but you've had a little problem with your back, have you? I've always had problems with my back. Yes, because yeah. they're telling me. Can I just say this to you? You know, thank God for doctors. <laughs> OK? <laughs> However, doctors sometimes, you know, they're overloaded with work, aren't they? Yes. Well, sometimes they need a little helping hand, you know, OK? Behind the scenes. And they're saying, they're going to help you with that back, OK? Right. Lovely. From the higher side, OK? Lovely. Thank they you. really will. Oh, well, well, thank you. Has there been, has there been a little bit of um, argy-bargy around your workplace? Disagreements? <laughs> which is surrounding you? I think I know where you're coming from. OK. Yes. Um, I'll talk to you after the programme review, so yes. I'll go a little bit deeper. Yes. But I've just got to give you, if I may, yes. spiritual, what they're saying, the links here, it's to say, stick to your guns. Right. Stick to your guns. Right. And you, you are correct. You are correct. <laughs> yes, I know, yeah, I know where you're coming from. No, if, if they thought you were wrong, they'd say, hey, back off, OK? That's actually, yeah. OK. Yeah. Right, yes, I will, thank you. Can I say to the lovely lady, please, Glynis? Do you know Glynis or Glenis? Living, physical, 
No, it doesn't ring any bells. It doesn't? No. Uh, will, will you keep that name in mind? Because I feel that yeah. name is coming, being brought in front of you for a reason, OK? Right. Absolutely. I'll remember it. Oh, those gates need painting. <laughs> gates? Um, a lot needs painting. Yeah. <laughs> because the, the, it's like, paint those gates. Paint. Right. Paint. Well, if your back's been given you, you know, oh, she they've got to give you a little bit of, <laughs> haven't they? <laughs> but, <laughs> sorry, bless you. OK. And also, you may think this is mundane, but th this lovely, lovely couple who b belong to you, um, uh, I feel their love was infectious in the nicest of ways for each other. And it's like as if, I'll, I'll use this word, from the lovely gentleman, you wouldn't have believed that these two had come right. before others. Right. No. Do you understand that? Yeah. Yes. Okay, that's from the lovely gentleman. But can I also say to you, um, they take me into like a kitchen area, maybe of your lovely home, and um, it seems as if in the lower level, I take that to be maybe cupboard space and what have you, something needs sorting there? Yes. Yes? Yes. And does the good man of the house not listen to you? <laughs> no. He's no good at DIY whatsoever. OK. Well, a lot of men, I'm not, OK? <laughs> We're good for some things and useless for others, aren't we? Yeah. But can I just say this to you, please? Um, it seems as if the lovely lady out of the lovely family couple here uh, is really, really, uh, as a gift to your lovely partner, your lovely wife, come on, then, get them sorted for I'll her. I'll try. <laughs> Yeah, she, she's quietly frustrated over it. And she sees that, okay? <laughs> right, okay. All right, thank you. Yes, thank you. Yes. There's water. They're showing me water. Are you by uh, running water? There's an underground stream yes. in front of our There's house. There's been problems there. Yeah, mm. it does get very boggy in our front garden. It's okay. very wet. Well, they're saying here that you won't have to lift a finger at this because it goes way over. They can see authorities, authorities doing something about this before we go through the spring months. Right. So just bide your time. OK. Because right. it has caused slight problems, hasn't it? Yeah, it has caused problems with the house. OK. But it's like they can't wait for it to get sorted for you, all right? Thank you. Oh, what the show now. <laughs> <laughs> can I say, around you and your friendships, as I see your hair colour, which is lovely, is there a good friend, please, that's lighter hair colour to you? Um, a slighter, you know, lighter tone? Um, my sister is very yeah. similar. Okay. Uh, she's, um, it's a friend. The impressions, they just show me like a, a picture. I feel it could be the Sicilian. Mm. It's like as if they want, she's waiting for something to happen and it's not happening for her. Oh, I can understand what that is. Do you understand? Yes. Now, whatever it is, they're not even telling me. Maybe it's so private, but I've got to give what they say, OK? I know what they It's is. like <laughs> saying to you, you can yeah. pass the message on, please, that that frustration is going to be lifted within less than a calendar month. Right. OK? Now, I'm, I'm, no, I'm not going from the US, but I'm seeing a lovely lady alongside this gentleman here, which I would like to come to next, if I may. Yes. OK, because she's beckoning me like this. <laughs> OK, she's lovely. Uh, sorry, I haven't finished. That's OK. And can I... I will. OK. Oh, she's so eager. <laughs> she's lovely. Um, yes. Tom, Tom, Tom. Who was Thomas? Thomas. Thomas. First name, not surname. I've... Um, one of my cousin's little boys called Thomas. Right, OK. Um, they say, they, they're saying the news surrounding Thomas is going to not just surprise the family... Right. ..but it's going to astound the family. Right. Now, I don't know how old this young, young, young boy is, OK? OK. But I'll tell you, um, there's some, something brilliant going to open up. I'll pass it on okay? to the family. OK. And I feel elders are going to, in whatever way they celebrate, they're going to be wanting to be in a celebratory mood, and it's not because of Christmas. <laughs> okay. So will you watch for that? Yep. Yes. Thank okay. you. OK. Thank you. Right. I know it was only short, but I hope you understood. Yes, thank, thank you. you. Bless you. Moving to the valleys now, I believe. Uh, Miranda and Simon are also with us. Uh, Glynis was mentioned, Miranda. Who's yeah. Glynis? Um, we think it's Gleniv. Glenis. Glenis, yeah, which is the name of my mother's house, which is where my grandmother, who came through, that's where she lived with my mother in the last years. So it had been in the family a long time? Yeah. Mm. Wonderful. OK, Argie Bargie, as only Derek would call it. <laughs> Argie Bargie. Uh, <laughs> where? Who's yeah. in trouble? I've actually... <laughs> you I've think actually, it's you, is it? Me again, yes. 
I've been having argy-bargy in work. I'm, I'm on maternity at the moment due to right. go back in January. Um, and I've been having a few problems getting my job back. Um, They're trying to take it away from you? Yeah, I've had right, the trade everybody union. out. <laughs> <laughs> right before had, Christmas? Yeah, yeah. Oh, so I've had the trade unions involved and everything, but hopefully it's sorted now. So, so hopefully all that yeah. red tape and, and bureaucracy will, uh, will get through all of that. Um, who's Dave? Dave's a friend of mine. Um, we haven't been speaking. Um, we should be speaking because it's a very silly argument. Not just any old friend, though, is he? He's my best friend. Is he mate? More like a brother than a friend. Mm. And unfortunately, sometimes we argue when we don't need to. Okay. So that's a kick up the backside for me. Okay. Problems with your back? Could be stress related. Um, it's never worth falling <laughs> out with a friend. <laughs> no, I'd, I'd, I've had a bad back since I was about 19. Right. Um, I've tried lots of different things, and then, unfortunately, not much works other than a little bit of the hands on. Oh. The laying on of hands. Well, healing hands, we can't promise you here, but I hope uh, you've all found a bit of comfort coming down to Psychic Live today. Polite ripple, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much.